Okay guys, Hunt Control 2.0 has a new app update out as of September 7th, 2023. So in this video, we want to cover some of those new features that Hunt Control now provides. All right, so when you first launch the app, you will notice a new feature right off the bat here is the little stars by each image. This star represents your favorite images. So as you collect images or as you see images or you get a nice picture you want um, to reference back to, you can click the little star by it and it'll highlight an orange indicating that that is one of your favorite images. Now as you collect these favorite images, you'll also probably want to sort by them. So you can do that by hitting the filter button and clicking the favorites only filter and apply that and it will show you your images that you have tagged as your favorites. To clear the filters, hit the clear button at the bottom left. Now also under that filter, we have a new uh, feature here called the videos only filter. So you can click that to filter by videos only and then you can scroll through all your videos. Again, hit the clear filters button at the bottom left to go back to your gallery. Another great feature in this new app update is our request to extra large photo option. So if you have an image that you really like, you can request the extra large version of that image. So let's take this doe for instance. If this was a big buck, which I don't have, you can request the extra large version of this image. So to do that, you'll hit the more button at the bottom and you'll click the extra large image button, request XL image button at the bottom. Of course, this is not an additional cost to you, except it will go against the data usage for the month. So keep in mind, as you uh, request these extra large versions, you will be using more of your data for that month. So you'll hit OK, and then it will request the large version of that photo for you. Now, I'd already done this, so I have the large image already in my gallery of this for you to look at. So you'll notice here on the right hand side, of the same image, you will notice it says XL at the top left of this photo. So you can click on that and it doesn't look much better because our pictures are already HD, but it is a tiny bit better in quality. So if you did want to see the larger image of like a buck in the background, or you just wanted to show off a beautiful image of a buck or anything, you can request the extra large image for that. On that same note, we do have a new feature that allows you to request the videos from thumbnail images. So if you notice on the left side, um, here on the C-plot mini cam, you'll see a little orange icon at the top left of this thumbnail image. Um, that's just indicating that this is a video, but this is only the thumbnail picture from that video. So if you click on it, now this is an actual video, but it's only the picture from the video. So it saves you a ton of data by sending the thumbnail image. So you're not getting wasteful videos of squirrels or a limb uh, blowing in the wind or anything like that using your data. So for instance, let's pretend this was a big buck in this video, again, which I don't have. Uh, you can use this thumbnail image to see what's in it. And if you liked what you saw, you can request the video, the full video be sent to you. Now for the extra large image request and the video request, it depends on when you receive these videos based on your camera settings. So if your camera's check-in setting is on always available, you will receive these images, these extra large images and video requests pretty much instantly. However, if your camera is set to four times daily check-in, that means when your camera checks in those four times a day, it will dump those extra large pictures and video requests at that time. So if you were to request a video or an extra large image, uh, be patient if your camera's on the four times daily check-in as it could take up to six hours before you receive that extra large version or video. All right, so I already did this for you, I already requested the video, so we don't have to do this. I do wanna note that, again, when you request the extra large version or full-length videos, it will go against your data for the month, so keep that in mind. So if we go back to the gallery, you'll see the thumbnail image, and to the top right, the very top right image is actually a video, if you see the little camera icon at the top left of that thumbnail preview this is the full video so this is the one I requested so to view it obviously you'll click on it and let's just pretend there's a big buck walking through there the best part of that feature is it saves you a lot of data if you do want to use video mode again you can request the videos that you want if you see it in the thumbnail preview Another add-on we made to this app update is 
We will now notify you when your camera's batteries are getting low. So if you hit the cameras button here, you'll notice that it says the internal battery voltage of front yard is getting low. We recommend checking the battery soon. And this will kind of help you if you have a lot of cameras and you don't realize one of the batteries is getting low on a certain camera. Uh, so now I know I need to go change out the front yard camera. As you'll notice, it's at 7.6 volts. One other thing we did change, if you click on that front yard camera, you'll notice the uh, location slider is gone. You can still put in the GPS coordinates if you'd like. And we also removed the activation slider from this page as well. To find that activation slider, you'll just go back to your profile at the top right. And you'll click My Cameras. And from this page, you can activate or deactivate your cameras. Now, remember, when you do deactivate a camera, that cuts off the cellular service. So uh, that's only to make room for more cameras if you wanted to keep your plan the same. Lastly, as we're talking about your plan, uh, you can now manage your plan from the app. So if you hit the Data Usage button here at the bottom right, you'll notice there's a Manage Your Account button. Uh, this will be a direct link to our wiseitech.com where you can upgrade or downgrade your subscription. You can pause it or reactivate it all from the app now. And it saves you a lot of time and headache of going through different browsers. So uh, that is now available in the app. Now that is all the new features here in Hunt Control. We're always improving this app. So to stay up to date, follow us on our social media pages. And if you need anything, please give us a call. Thanks.